Hello, Battleborn. We are back in the dojo, this time with Beatrix and her legendary lore item. Um, I know Beatrix is the, the newest member of the Battleborn uh, crew, and she is basically a sniper support character with some lifesteal abilities for herself, or she can pass that on to her teammates. Quite interesting, um, but her legendary is quite confusing. So, if you haven't played with her, uh, basically she shoots, her, her bullets all, all have a wound on them. So, which means a wound reduces incoming healing by 60%. So, if somebody's hit by a, a shot, they're wounded for 3 seconds. If they're hit by a sniper shot, they're wounded for 5 seconds. Um, the wound doesn't change, it's still 60%, but it's uh, it lasts longer or shorter based on how she hit you. Now, her legendary has got to be the most confusing thing ever, because, except, we're going to test it here. Well, so she can gain either 20% movement speed or 20% lifesteal on injector attacks based on rounds left in the magazine. The question is, how do you know the difference of what you're going to get, right? How do you know if you're going to get movement speed? How do you know if you're going to get lifesteal? How do you know if you're, um, is it, is it based on your helix? What's going on here? Okay, so let's go ahead and take some damage, and you're, you've seen her current move speed here, okay, which is um, just fine. Let's go ahead and just do a little, get them to take some damage, because remember, we're going to have either life steal or we're going to have movement speed. Well, in order to test life steal, you have to have them hurt us first, right? So, come on, guys. She can't be that bad. Come on, hit, hit, hit. Hit, 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 hit. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and take it. Based on magazines left in the... So I have a full round. I'm going to reload. I don't know if I got life steal or steal or I got the other. I have no idea. Have seen any life steal in that? No, it's lower. There's a little life steal. There's something. So do I need to empty the magazine? Oh, just let's look. So I'm going to empty the magazine down to one shot. Okay. Reload. Are you getting any life steal? No. Not. It's completely empty. Do I get any life steal? A little bit. I don't know. I'm, it's like, a, do I get any life steal at the end of it? It looks like the lower bullets gets life steal. Is that correct? So if I have fewer bullets in my magazine, I'm getting movement speed at the first ones, and then my speed off off the second ones. That's, I mean, that's what I have to guess. So later bullets give life steal. It looks like that's the case. So early bullets do not. I don't know. This is a hard one. This is a hard one, uh, and I don't want to complicate it by adding any skills until I can figure this out. So. It looks like I'm getting a life steal. Right? 706. That was about 100 damage. About 100 damage. I mean, I am getting some life steal. So, I, I just don't know what this means. Based on rounds left in the magazine. So, it, it, this is really, really hard because I can't tell at all what's going on here. So that was a big big shot. I just don't know. Maybe they both scale. And so if I was able if I let's try this. I'm gonna have full bullet full shots and then I'm going to just uh, patient zero myself which will give me attack speed and then I'll see if I unloading uh, if I go from if I, if I if I just go faster or slower if it speeds accelerates or decelerates. Let's see if we can do this. If that worked. You know what I have to do is I have to go through the skills. I have to go through the skills and try and get a longer uh, patient zero. Okay, so this doesn't matter. This does matter. Okay, I'm going to do damage reduction because I don't want the lifesteal infecting our test here. Okay, 
Uh, match just doesn't matter. That's life still as on melee. It doesn't matter. Uh, let's let's just refill. Sure. Just for the, I mean, we're taking the weirdest ones. That's fine. Okay. Now I want this one to jump because normally we do jump. Okay. Um, and I don't want the other dots to kick in. Ah, here we go. More frequent use. Uh, I don't want anti. Uh, Anticoagulant. I'm not a medical person, so I don't know. Uh, what I am going to do is I'm going to do the scoped in one. I want to see if that one has an effect. Oh, here we go. Add three seconds, right? Add three seconds, and this just doesn't matter, and this just doesn't matter. Okay, it just doesn't matter. So, all right, let's give this a shot. Now, this should last longer, and I'm going to do a scope. The scoped in one. See that little line? That just gives you that shot. Okay, ready? There we go, and... Oh yeah, I'm full health. I guess it'd be helpful if I died. Or got hurt. Okay. Gotta hurt me. Gotta hurt me. So what's gonna happen here now is... What's interesting is now I'm applying that dot to everybody. Ah, oh, that's fun. That's a good length of time. That extra three seconds really, really helps. Yeah, let's not do this. Okay. Come on, hurt me, hurt me, hurt me. That's going to be... I need to get hurt quite a bit so I can test it. Thoroughly test it. Okay, 291. Here we go. All right, get some range. And go at it. Those bullets are bouncing. I still don't see the heals big time. I mean, it's still not a huge heal. Maybe on the snipe. That's not bad. Those big hits aren't rough. If I can get a crit. Hey, that's not bad. So there you go. So that was actually not bad. So obviously it's on the damn. It's twenty percent based on life or based on rounds. But I don't know if there's the if it's earlier on. That's, that's the only challenge I'm not able to, uh, to find out, is if it's, do I get bigger heals early, or bigger heals later? See, that bullet bounces, when, because of one of my helix choices. But hey, look at that, by the time they came down range, I was healed. Huh! So maybe that helix is actually in lieu of having to take leech therapy, because everybody takes leech therapy. The reason why I take leech therapy because it's just insanely awesome, not because just because you can get the life seal, but because you can throw it on a Wrath or an Atticus or a Montana, and they can sit there and mow people down and heal like crazy, because which is why she's considered a su support, which is great. But maybe by doing that, it, so you don't have to go down the. The line of, well, if I'm applying it to other people, I'll never get it, which means I have to go self-medicated, right? To avoid having to go self-medicated, you can sit there and add three seconds duration to your patient zero. Now remember, when you cast that sucker on somebody else, the, as soon as it's cast, the cooldown starts, right? And so we're uh, as soon as this runs out, we have remaining four, three seconds left before we can cast it again? That's crazy! That's really, really good. So it's almost always on. It's on a good 70% of the time before we can actually, you know, line it up to somebody and, and hit them. So, so it's on cooldown basically four seconds for somebody. Well, it takes a little while to, you know, to line it up and shoot it. But that's really good. So what that allows us to do is n not have to, I mean, yes, we would probably want to put in, uh, well, either one, we can apply the damage reduction to people, which is crazy. Imagine, imagine a boulder out there with 30% damage reduction on 75% of the time because of what you've done to them. That one, that one patient zero, right? It's and the first one. It spreads infection to things around them, which is the wound, right? And so, if you really think about it, you don't since you don't have to go with the, um, you know, self-medicated or whatever else, you could literally um, heal. But the point, the point is this, the point is this, this legendary lets you heal without having to take that patient zero for yourself. That's really what it comes down to. 
And if 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 you don't have to have patient zero for yourself, I mean honestly, let's be, let's be honest. When you put apply patient zero to yourself, it takes two seconds to apply it. When you apply it to somebody else, it's a fire and boom shot, and it's off, and it's done. You can move on. You don't have that two second cooldown. It maybe takes up a half a second of time, so the cast time is actually shorter when you cast it on somebody else than when you ca than when you cast it on yourself. So. Playing full pure support is actually not a bad idea, and so this legendary allows you to get some sort of life steal off of your items, or sorry, off your skills, and you can buy it, so it means you can do it earlier. You don't have to wait on a helix choice, and then you can use your helix to to focus purely on support in different ways. So this is pretty cool. Now I'm I, I don't I still don't understand. It says up to twenty percent. I can't tell. Maybe we have to review the. The video more succinctly to find out if it was if 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 the higher number was uh, at earlier with more magazine rounds in the magazine or the higher number is with fewer rounds in the magazine that was to be debated right in terms because it's hard to measure speed it's hard to measure it looks like I'm running faster here am I running faster or running faster here it looks like the high, the faster speed came when I had fewer running rounds in a magazine. So I I'm I'm gonna have to just preliminarily say that the fewer the more rounds in the magazine you have, the lesser impact. But the fewer it just improves as you lose as your uh, as your bullets uh, dissipate from your magazine. That seems to be the that's my that's my guess. I'm gonna go with it but anyways really good item to have so go ahead and get Beatrix maxed out so you can play with it because this is this is a really 20% life steals excellent <laughs> and I lost right, I'll catch you guys later hope you enjoyed it